of last year we didn't have very much success at home um, but we we made we vowed this year that they we got to protect this turf we got to be very good on it we got to be much better we got to bring energy you know you had two teams that came from out of town this weekend um, and we figured if we could jump on them early and and see if we could put a couple goals in which you know it didn't happen we put one in but I thought we were pretty pretty good in the first 20 30 minutes of both games um, and then we were able to be gritty and, and, and dig out the result at the end. I thought some special performances by a uh, freshman, Jake Porman, coming in and earning, you know, having the goalkeeper take him down because he was going to beat him, turn the corner and score on the breakaway. Um, and I thought that that was massive for us for, to get a performance from him. Um, and then Ames and uh, Max Becker were fantastic for us today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, here at home, we always have we don't have the best record, especially at the start of the season. It's huge for us to get these two wins to start the season going on, uh, especially with a couple of away games coming up. You want a couple, a little bit of momentum going on. So, I mean, it's huge. These guys are all great energy, uh, positive spirits, and we'll have a great week of practice. So it's really, really positive. It was a great victory today because, I mean, that team has been in the NCAA tournament last year, and they're really good. And they have a lot of dangerous players, and I thought that we matched them. Um, special uh, performances by Garrett Weaver and uh, Justin Schooneman to deal with their two top forwards. Those guys are really, really good, and I knew that they were going to cause us problems today, but they shut them down and did a fantastic job. Um, we were working on our uh, defense winning the ball and looking straight forward into the forwards' feet. Uh, I can't remember who, what defender won it, but they did a great job of stepping in, uh, composing themselves, finding my feet. Uh, and then from there, just what we practiced one-on-ones, beat the defender and scored. Um, I think it's important to stress, though, the, the way the defense played today. I mean, shutout's huge, especially on a Sunday game after we just had a great battle overtime on Friday. Uh, couldn't couldn't be more proud of those guys back there with the freshmen and even the older guys that really locked it down. And uh, now we got a couple of days to rest till our game on uh, on Saturday in California. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, we kind of jumped out to a pretty fast start, and I think like Jake Rietzloff had a, an opportunity 30 seconds into the game where Spiro slipped him and he came in from the weak side and then uh, just missed the goal by a couple inches. Um, and that was just kind of like, hey, let's go, boys. Let's get it going. Let's keep going. Let's add to that. And then Ty did his thing, you know, um, beat the back line on his own and then smashed it in the corner. It was a fantastic goal. And... You know, can't ask for a better start, obviously. Once again, our defense, I mean, Weaver, uh, Hughes, Kyle, uh, Schumann, all those guys, Grant back there, they, they really locked it down. I think the key to it today was communication. I mean, when it's this hot out, you're tired already physically, uh, and then it starts to go mentally after that. But those guys, even though they might have been tired legs-wise, they kept talking and kept communicating, which is the biggest part out there. So those guys did a great job doing that today.